everybody is looking for the next big threat in global air power. And China's bombers just might be it. Let's break down what's flying, and what's coming. The backbone? China's H-6 bombers, based on a Soviet Cold War design. But with modern upgrades, new turbofan engines, upgraded avionics, long-range cruise missiles, CJ-10A, 1-500-plus-KM, aerial refueling us, and H-6N can carry air-launched ballistic missiles or hypersonic glide vehicles. Numbers. Over 230 H-6S in PLA Day F and planned service. They can strike Taiwan, Guam, armed with hypersonic anti-ship missiles, YJ-12 and YJ-21 Mach 6 Plus, able to threaten U.S. carriers, Guam, Taiwan, and Japan. But the real game-changer is the H-20 Stealth Bomber. Flying wing design, estimated range 8,500 to 10,000 kilometers, payload 1040 tons, nuclear and conventional options, could carry CJ-20 cruise missiles, 2,000 plus km, completes China's nuclear triad, ICBMs plus SSBNs plus bombers, timeline expected in service within a few years. The Pentagon estimates 50 H-20S by 2035. That extends reach to Hawaii, even the U.S. mainland. Not as stealthy or battle-hardened as U.S. bombers and engine tech still lags, but combines stealth with hypersonics. And U.S. missile defenses face a serious challenge. Regionally, H-6 already holds Taiwan, Japan, U.S. bases at risk. Globally, H-20 would reach Guam, Hawaii, even continental U.S. deterrence shifts, diversifies nuclear options and complicates U.S. planning. Quantity plus hypersonic integration equals sign a growing headache for planners. Weaknesses. Engines. True stealth performance uncertain. PLAAF lacks decades of bomber doctrine and combat experience like the U.S. And China lacks U.S.-style global bases and logistics for sustained bomber ops so limits remain, but quantity and hypersonics still make them a real challenge. Bottom line today, H-6 gives China formidable regional strike power. Future, H-20 will give Beijing intercontinental strike ability. Caveat, still catching up technically and doctrinally, but quantity plus hypersonic integration makes them a growing challenge. Watch this space, things are just getting started.